What's happening, free gang? We are coming to you live. We're not live. From inside our car in London. What an exotic location this is to begin a vlog. <laughs> and it's cold. And mummy's and driving, and I'm free to roam with the camera. That means we can come over here, look out the window, some stuff growing on the wall, or we can look over the other side and there's a cab there. Hello. <laughs> they have no idea. And Jojo's in the back there, of course. How's it going, Jojo? Hello. We've had some homeschooling fun at the moment. You're becoming quite the accomplished guitar player, aren't you? Yeah. And quite fluent in Spanish, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I would expect you to answer si, but you didn't. Let us know in the comments below, guys, where are you coming alive, but not live from in the world? Let us know in the comments below. So we're off out today. Jojo is due a little trim up. You've seen that his hair's got a lot, lot longer. So we're going to give him a nice little trim. He's stroking it right now, just to emphasize the point of length. And mummy, you're going to get your hair all shaved off too, right? No. No, oh, okay. <laughs> she likes her hair long. Comment below, Mummy should get her head shaved. Completely. No, I like my hair long. It is very long and beautiful. But you've got one of these faces, you'd be beautiful no matter what haircut you have. Shut your up. I oh, was just getting a little shy, but she's got to concentrate on driving. Look straight ahead. Also, jo Jojo wants to look nice and smart because we're meeting some new people, aren't we? We're meeting some other YouTubers in a few yeah, days. I'm excited we are so excited we've wanted to see these guys for so long we're so excited to do it we can't wait to hang out with them actually let us know who do you think we could be hanging out with someone from YouTube someone that maybe you know maybe you don't know I mean if you don't know you're no good at guessing then are you but yeah guess who you think it could be so that's gonna be happening over the next couple of days but first things first we have to get Jojo's hair actually cut so we're heading to a lovely salon in London called the Rabbit Hole. You may have seen us go there before. This is where Jojo got his first ever haircut. And it's where I got my Funicorn haircut. Funicorn. Should the Funicorn come back, eh? Well, Should it make a return for 2019? I said Funicorn haircut, so it wasn't really a haircut. Funicut. Fun no, it was Funicolor. Oh yeah, it just <laughs> It just wasn't even cut, was it? Yeah. I think she trimmed it a bit, but it was mostly the colour that she did. There are still remnants of blue in there. I know, the blue just will not go. That, the yeah. colour in that was hot. It was like hot pink, wasn't it? Yeah. And also, we cannot go to West Brompton without going to Green Bay. Yeah, Green Bay. It would be rude not to. Your favourite place? Yeah, so Jojo, you know the YouTubers that we're going to go and see? Would you yeah. like to buy them some gifts from Green Bay? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a nice idea. Should we do that? Let this man cross first, mummy. I am. Okay, so we're doing the hair first, then Green Bay. We do hair. We'll let him loose in the Green Bay to buy some things. I think you should let me loose as well too, mummy. No. One Planet piece has got my name on it. No. What do you mean no? Is this when have you not wanted a One Planet pizza? Why are you so obsessed with pizza? Jojo, Jojo, I'll share some with you. No. Go on. Okay. Why are you not tempted by this? I can't bribe you with you anything. Can you can have like a whole Where pizza if I can grab a Vigo for myself. <laughs> it would appear we've come to an agreement, mummy. I'm sorry to break it to you both, but you're not getting anything for yourselves. This is what? this is for the people we're going to see, and that's final. Let me just check my uh, ethically made bum bag here. Oh, yes, I have the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, I can get a Vigo. And I can get a pizza, and we'll put the Vigo on the pizza. Ah, oh, chocolate on pizza. We no, remember that, that cereal challenge where you put chocolate on the pizza? I don't want to go back there. I'm all right, thanks. It's bad enough having apple on pizza. Okay, we're getting to the salon now, and it's cold. Better be warm in there. I want the snacks now. We're getting the snacks now, yeah? No, no snacks. I wonder if they've got an oven. I can take a pizza in there and cook it. Do you reckon that's possible? No. <laughs> Going in? Well, you, you're, you're running the wrong way. No time for superhero games now. We've got to go in and get your hair cut. Don't worry, it's not going to take away your superpowers. We're cold out here. Go, 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 go. After you, milady. Say hello to Dory. Hello, hi. Oh, you're a nice hug. You're going to choose that one. So we're always using your hat because your hair's getting so long. We're using your hat to keep the hair out of your eyes. Do you think you'll still wear your hat though? Yeah. It is a nice hat. Oh. What you got there? A fruit tea? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, maybe. Might maybe wait for it to cool down. Yeah, leave it to cool down a bit. Can I have your biscuit? Get your own biscuit for your own tea. Oh. He's trying to steal your biscuit, is he? Yeah. He's a cheeky daddy, isn't he? What are you doing there? Just finishing off an edit that needs to go out today within two hours or so. Oh, my goodness. You better hurry up then. Thanks. <laughs> Yes, I, I guess I should, yes. Jojo, it's been five months since you had your hair cut. Oh my goodness. I know, so long. 
Wow, you've got a ponytail. How's it going, mate? Good. You feel good having a trim up, do you? Yeah. It's hard having to keep really still, isn't it? Concentrate. You're not used to being still at all, are you? Yeah. Normally <laughs> jumping around. I see that the tea and biscuit has gone. Yeah. You were supposed Lock to save the biscuit for me, right? No, lucky you didn't have the biscuit. I was eyeing it up, I must admit. Look, you had a biscuit with your tea. Be fair, <laughs> I have a tea. You would have had that biscuit, then it wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been fair. Okay. You can buy me some biscuits from Green Bay. Well, but you're getting a pizza from there anyway. Am I? Yeah. Cool. So finishing up, mate, what did you just say about your hair? I think I look a bit too cool. Too cool. How are you going to dumb down the coolness? I think that's impossible. It's like basically 200% is it 100%. Okay. You know Do you what? think we maybe get some stuff from Green Bay, eat that and maybe the cool will go away? Yeah. I think it'll make you extra cooler, especially if you're age of ego. Yeah. And of course, you're straight out of the chair, all done, wheeling around on the store. I don't think they're designed for that, Jojo. <laughs> they're designed for this. <laughs> what do you think of your new hair? Too cool. Too cool, eh? Yeah. Very short. I think this is the shortest your hair's ever been. I know, it is. That's why it's too cool. What about when you were painting? Oh. It's a lot today. Yeah, you weren't born with hair this long. It's all done at the salon, Jojo. How are you doing? Good. Bless him, he's sat in that chair for so long and he's not used to sitting somewhere in a chair. Still, to be honest, it's only about 45 minutes. And then as soon as he was done, he was jumping around that place like, like it was a soft play area. So much release of energy. Right, we're gonna go Green Bay now and get some goodies. Including the pizza for me. Yeah, we go. It was cold. Green Bay, rescue us. Go, 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 go. You're not messing about. What have you got already? Well, we is that for you or are we getting it for the people we're seeing? Me. For you? No, give it to the people. Do you want some? Mm. <laughs> Cup of tea and Vigo. You do know we've got one in the pantry from last time at home. Alright, we'll get that for them. Put in the we've got one at home, yeah. yeah. The one that you got in the blindfold challenge. Do you want to get some of the Vigo for them? The spread um. in the jar. That's good stuff. <laughs> Will these presents for other people make it home? Get some of these, yeah? This is so hard buying these sorts of things to other people. I know. <laughs> Do you think they'll mind if they get it half eaten? Maybe. Should we get some of that bacon? Yeah. That was really good. For them or for us? <laughs> um, yeah, for them. Yeah, I meant for us. Oh, there's bigger packs as well. That's is that one is good one. though? That's a different, different one. one. What was the one we got, oh, no. Jojo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it that, that one? Is it that one? You don't know because you were under a blindfold. <laughs> I know. You wanted your pizza, yeah? Yeah, let's grab a pizza. Come then, let's get your pizza. These guys that we're visiting, I think they would feel happy if they knew I'd had a pizza. Oh, yeah. Ice cream, calm down. You picking a pizza? Fun guy feast. Let's go for that. Good. That's all right. It's cold outside. It'll probably stay on there. Chuck it in the basket. What are you sniffing around? The drinks. You like a bit of elderflower, don't you? Elder wand. Flower. So we got the pizza. Oh, and the gifts for our friends that we're going to go and see. <laughs> yeah, managed to get the pizza in the end, didn't you? Most important thing, they'd be happy that I, I got a pizza. I'll send a picture to them of me eating it. How about that? I'm sure, they'd love it. They would. That'd be the best present. Better than any of these gifts. Maybe I should eat those too. I'm just quite hungry. That's why I'm acting so irrational. So we're back in from the cold now. Thank goodness it was very, very cold out there. And we just thought we'd get some dinner on. We've got all this pasta because this is what we do a lot, guys. We make a big batch of pasta and then have it the next day so we don't have to cook. We got salad as well, look at that. Nice and easy. Yes. Really handy as well when you come back in your cold and you just want a meal and you just want to eat straight away. So you've gone for the giraffe this time, have you? Yes, this is Jamie's onesie. Why isn't that instead of Minnie Mouse? I don't know, because the, the Minnie Mouse one is like cotton, like this. Uh, but this is like fleece, is fleece or something. It's just. Is it cozier? Yeah, it's kind of cozier, and it's got a tail, you know. Minnie Mouse doesn't have a tail. Yeah, no. and it's got a. Where is it? This. The hood on the Minnie Mouse one's better. Yeah, this hood's not. It's not coming over enough. But anyway, I just wanted to be cozy. You know, it's a cold day, and you get home, you just want to be cozy. So we wanted to sit down and talk about something which you guys have been asking about a lot yes. over the last few months. Because as many of you guys may remember, back in October, I believe, we talked about the possibility of us having another baby. Well, we basically said that we wanted to have another baby. If you remember rightly from that video, I was saying that I wanted a clear sign whether it was the right thing to do. And that day we were in Brighton and 
I joked to Bob, I said, why don't you go into the tarot readers and, and ask them if we're meant to have another baby? And you went in, didn't you? Yeah, so out of all the cards he pulled out, the first one that came out was the birth and fertility card, which was pretty crazy considering what we had put out there only earlier that day and the day before. Yeah. And so it seemed like a clear sign then and then lots of other things started happening as well, didn't they? Yeah, loads of different things were happening that was pushing us to making that decision to have a baby. But it's like most things that come up in the few months before Christmas. You, you sort of think, I'll leave it till after Christmas. We'll sort it out after Christmas. It's like, how many of you guys do that? You're like, everything's after Christmas. And now it is after Christmas. Yeah, so we've, we've sort of started looking into it. And for those of you who saw that video, then you'll know that we talked about the procedure that uh, Bob had done where we decided that we weren't going to have any more children about four years ago so that needs to be reversed yeah to make it even possible so yeah we've been looking into that and we'll probably have to go private to do it yeah because it's um, huge waiting list, it isn't practical. Yeah, on the NHS. NH I think they do it on the NHS. But it's, it's so much treated almost like cosmetic, it's not, there's no necessity in there. Yeah, because most of the time men have it done because they've had kids already. Yeah. So, like you. Yeah. There are some people that have it done when they haven't, they just don't want kids at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting because we've got this other side of Christmas now. We're able to look at the year ahead and then it's become real all of a sudden recently. It's, hasn't yeah, it? it's become real. And then I'm questioning, wow, is it something that I really want? And especially when we go and deliberately look up and say, let's see about getting a reversal. Yeah. of this procedure then all of a sudden it's like right, right we are heading down this road so yeah and I, we really want to make sure we're doing it for the right reasons because it's lovely when we're around other people's babies and we get all broody and everything but we've got to think is it right for us is it right for our family is it right for the <laughs> the baby that's going to come along you know, you always think about money, you think there's so many things. I mean, if you thought about everything, then no one would ever have kids because there's always reasons not to. I think it would, another little person would bring so much joy to our lives and. Yeah, and I feel that we have only grown as parents so much since Jojo's come about. I feel like we'd have a lot to give to mm. another, another little human. And Jojo really, really wants another brother or sister. Yeah, we've tried to gauge it as well. That was a good thing why we said let's leave it to after Christmas because we'll know how our feelings change and how uh, our other kids' feelings are and how our lives change. And now we're like, we're other side of Christmas. We've got a lot of things done and out the way. And we're, uh, we've decided we're not gonna travel outside of the country for a while. It's meant we've been able to look ahead clearly and think, oh wow. And I don't know about you, I'm excited at the prospect yeah. of that happening. Yeah, I'm well excited. Another thing that's made me want a baby is Jamie like leaving home. That's been hard, that's been so hard and we need something to fill that void. Not that that's the reason to have a baby, but it does make you want one more, doesn't it? You get really in touch with your parental side, don't you? Because all of a sudden, every bit of parenting that you have, it's, it's, it's lessened a lot, isn't it? They go away and all of a sudden you're not giving them as frequent hug, hugs as you used to and stuff like mm. that. And all of a sudden you just like, you, you feel like you want to do that. Don't get me wrong, it's, nothing's going to replace Jamie. She's her own unique yeah, person. Yeah, of course. But yeah, I guess it just makes that spark come up again, doesn't it? Mm. For me, it's just like, are we doing it for the right reasons? And obviously it's going to take a lot of our time. Will we still be able to do the channel as much as what we do? Will we be able to do all the ethics work that we do? It's a big decision. It's not a decision that comes easily, is it? No, it's not something that when it came to us like in October, we can just go yes or no there and then. Mm. It's good that we've given it time and we've seen which direction our feelings have gone. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to go down this path and explore it more. And Do you really want a baby, Bob? I think I do. You really want one? <laughs> Say it out loud now, for a camera and everything. Um, I've just had lots of thoughts of another little soul coming into our lives and I keep getting that feeling. And... Mm. I remember when I first met Bob, I said I want five children with you because I just loved him so much. I just absolutely adored you and I was like, I still do. I'm saying it like yeah, it's yeah. in a past tense, but you know what I mean. But it was, because you're talking about that time in the past. Yeah, yes. that's right. <laughs> when I said that to you, when I said I want to have five children, I never forget the face. I don't think I've ever seen that face again. Just like your face just lit up so beautifully and I was just like, wow. I always love kids though. Yeah, and then I, I know you love kids and but then I felt bad that I only had one kid with you because I always remembered your face when I said that. But having one child was right for us for all that time. Yeah, but at the same time I've got 
two very special children in Sam and Jamie. Mm. And even though I wasn't there in the early part of their life, I've got so much from them and learned so much as a human being a parent. Yeah, I don't know, the, the prospect excites me. And I'm just excited to take our time to really find our way down this path, get everything in place, because I wouldn't want to do it when ever, unless everything is right. And also my body as well, like I went through a lot with Jojo giving birth to Jojo and that was the reason, one of the reasons you had uh, the procedure done. But now I'm thinking, will I be able to do it again? You know, will my body... Well, we've got healthier since then, that's the thing. We have got, it? yeah, we have got a lot healthier. Like most mornings we have like celery juice first in the morning and then we have Smoothie, like yeah. healthy smoothies and... We eat a lot of greens these days, so yeah. try to look after my And we body. just feel better as well. We're not mm. having any the same sort of afflictions we were having like five to six years ago. Mm. Oh, like like aches, pain, yeah. my knee, all of these different things. Yeah. We're healthier, we're more active. But we would love to hear what you guys think. Though, would you like to see another little baby freedom in the family, in the vlogs? We'd love to, you know, hear what you guys think. So you're like part of our extended family you are, so you let are. us know what you think. We it's read all of our comments and we really respect your opinions, guys. Yeah, and so we're very excited about what could be happening in the coming months and this year. So Jojo has now joined us. He's munching away on his food with his new hair, his too cool hair. But that is it for another video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We're just going to do a couple of shout outs to some of you lovely free gang before we finish up. And the first shout out goes to Tiff Peters, who says, Love you guys so much. It's my 30th birthday on the 6th, which is today, the day of recording this. It won't be on the day that you watch this, however. But happy birthday. Happy and birthday. I'm, and I'm in in bed with pneumonia. Could you please, please, please give me a shout out? My name's Tiffany Peters from Surrey in the UK. Oh, big shout out and happy birthday to Tiffany Peters. Hope you get past your pneumonia nice and safe and happy. And the second shout out is from Martin Buswell, who's asked for a shout out for his, as he describes, wonderful wife, Heather on her birthday this Thursday, which is in a couple of days. So happy birthday, Heather. Hope you have a great birthday. Hang on, isn't it today? Oh, that is today, is it? <laughs> That's today as well. No, we're on what day it is or what. Happy birthday, Heather. Two birthdays on the same day, that's crazy. Well, it's not crazy in general, but two free game birthdays on the same day. Thanks so much, guys, for requesting a shout out. I hope you both have great birthdays. And if any of you guys ever want a shout out, leave in the comments below. It could be you next time. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing Jojo get his hair cut and find out if there could be another sibling to Jojo in the family, then we'd love it if you subscribed. But if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye.